Hello everyone, Positron taking a quick look at Cryptarch. Cryptarch is a new 2D shooter, rogue-ish game uh, from Alien Trap, who you might know from Apotheon, which I covered on the channel previously. This is currently an early access on Steam. Uh, it is $12.99 right now, and uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I think they had actually learned some things from Apotheon and applied it to uh, kind of a new genre. Um, what's interesting is some of the control is similar to Apotheon. Apotheon kind of had that freeform uh, mouse control sort of deal. And um, Cryptarch has that as well, but it works a lot better in a space shooter environment. Um, so let's start a new game here and I'll show it off. I'll just overwrite my little game here. Um, no, I'm not going to do the tutorial. Although, now I'll skip the tutorial. So we get a little opening cutscene here. Essentially, we are a mercenary. So myself and the salvage crew are heading out to get some money, essentially. Of course, we have the primary target, the Crypt Arc, which has some mystery surrounding it. So we actually don't get uh, some of the opening uh, information without the tutorial, I guess. But basically, it's just, you know, uh, we're mercenaries and we are, we have a contract for 500k to start out. And we're looking to make some money. And eventually, we will head towards a crypt target at the end. And it's kind of the big score. So at each stage, or at least for the stages that I've played so far, it looks like maybe there's some bigger ones later on. We have uh, options. We can choose from four different sections with varying um, stuff. You can see like tech advances are new equipment for us. You can see health stations, ammo stations. Uh, AI scan shows what kind of enemies there are. System scan shows what kind of systems are in place. These are usually defenses. I think I can actually go through these, yeah. Um, so then you can see at the top, um, that these are, you know, what kind of ship it is, what the reward is, the goal time, uh, what the bonuses are, so on and so forth. Now, three max hull for a bonus is not something I'm interested in. That is actually kind of terrifying. Um, no supply pods. Loadout max 60k is going to be a little tough. Um, destroy alarm systems. No supply pods. Keep sentry systems. What's uh, What's this one? Okay, this one's pretty good. Destroy alarm systems, no supply, about six mac call. I think I can do the uh, all the bonuses on this one. Now the timer, once the time ticks down past that goal time, you start losing uh, money from your reward. And it's actually pretty significant. I played a, a mission before this in, um, I think it was the same course sort of setup. It was 79k reward. And I lost 29k for going 59 seconds over. However, I did all the objectives and that gave me those bonuses plus 60k. So I think if you want to play slower um, and not feel rushed, if you're looking to do a slower mission but get all the bonuses, that's certainly viable. Alright, so let's go for this one and we'll pick our loadout here. Then you can see the actual core gameplay. Alright. So we can go to the armor here and pick out whatever we want. Um, so six max health, we can actually choose how much uh, health we want to have essentially. Obviously the more health you have, the more expensive it is though. So going for 15 hull strength total is 144k on its own. Obviously that is not profitable for us right now. So go down to six. Uh, it looks like anything below four is free. Well, we'll go with six because that's the mission objective. So we have a, a machine gun, a burst machine gun, a zip gun, um, I might just go with a standard machine gun for this. It's pretty cheap. Um, what is the shotgun? Shotgun is a little more expensive, yeah. And the interesting thing here is that I'm using mouse and keyboard also. It's pretty obvious. You guys play the controller. Um, I just prefer the fine tune of the mouse for this. But you can also, um, you can choose, like if I wanted to, 
I could throw another machine gun on here. Um, in fact, if I wanted to, I'm pretty sure I could equip four machine guns. Um, that would not be wise, but I could certainly do it. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. We have a ram spike. Give you my shield. I can also get an energy blaster. Uh, low power, but infinite ammo. And I think we'll go with... Oh, sticky grenades. I haven't used the sticky grenades before. They're a little more expensive. Though. I'm fine with the, the regular explosive grenades. It's kind of a stand, the standard loadout. You can also choose items, uh, hull repair, key codes, or a nuke. Um, pretty self-explanatory, I think. But I'll go with the pretty basic loadout. So it's going to cost uh, 77k to do the loadout. And we'll get a 79k reward. Uh, so right off the bat, you can see like if you just go with a standard loadout and uh, you don't do any of the bonus objectives, you're probably not going to make a lot of money, but you have 500k of expenditures, so you can spend more now, try to get yourself through those early missions, and get to the later ones. We'll go with this, and uh, we can take a look at our map here. We can see what the area looks like. The alarm system's here, the core is there. Core is our eventual goal. Drone factory? Um, that's kind of terrifying, actually. In fact, there's two of them. To the keys. There a um can't we can zoom out here, got good. You know, supply pod. We don't want to use that. Uh sentry system I wanna get rid of, and the drone factories that I think I want to get rid of. Realistically speaking, we only have to get rid of the alarm system uh for the maximum here. In fact, I think we could actually finish this very quickly just by going to the alarm system, picking up this key, heading straight for the core. Um, but not taking out the sentry system is going to make it very difficult to kill the core. So let's go in here. This is my ship, obviously, the, uh, the gun head as it is. So we can choose to enter anywhere here where there is a white door. If we bought a key, we could take a, a red door entrance. Um, so that would let us go like directly to the core or something like that. But We'll just send you here for now. All right. So, full movement. Um, game also looks pretty nice too. All right, that's key terminal, so we can grab this key. You see, we have a mini map too. But that is the alarm system. I'm gonna throw some grenades at it. I find grenades are really good for taking out big structures like this. Keep a safe distance. Also, I apologize, the game is very, very loud. Um, I, I turned the volume down dramatically, but it is very, very loud. So the alarm system is disabled. Actually, gonna take a peek what it would be like just to go for the core right now. If that would be feasible. I think it would. I don't think the core itself has um, many sentry guns around it, so we could probably finish this mission super fast and I could show off a later mission. Really easy here. Yeah, this is actually going to be very, very easy. Kind of get a lucky break. There we go. The core is gone. Neutralized. Chain reaction is shutting down the other security elements. We'll call the salvagers to come and cash out. Good work. Also, I swear that's the shuttle, the voice from like the medevac shuttle in StarCraft. So you see, actually, for going under time, we actually made a ton of extra money. Um, we got the all objectives bonus of 60k. Uh, we got an equipment rebate. I'm not sure what that does. Maybe that's for excess uh, ammo and stuff like that. And we got 302k off of that. Um, minus the 79k we paid, but uh, or 77, I think it was. But still, that's like kind of like a massive gain. So let's do one more. That was actually super fast. Let's do one hazard. That's interesting. Try Juggernaut Factory. Loadout max 60k. That's that's super difficult. Um, keep repair systems. No supply pods. Try alarm systems. Keep door lock system. Oh, three max hull. No. Loadout max 60k. I want to try to get all the bonuses. So let's go for a ghost ship. Um, 
functional jammer system may have been once a scouting vessel with the envoy. Ancient ship carries still functional security kits, systems, defensive drones. Obviously, I didn't get any of the tech advances in that previous stage either, so that's... Oops, that's not what I wanted to, meant to do at all. Well, we're going for this one, I think. I don't think I can back out of this now. Uh, maybe that's something that we add in, in uh, throughout early access, but that's my fault, so... Um, man, what was the... Loadout makes 60k, no supply pot. Okay, we're probably gonna go for... Uh... Well, can I see that? And no, I can't actually see what the hazard is. We're probably gonna go for a full uh, assortment here, just because I kind of got myself in over my head here. So let's actually, yeah, 60k only is probably not gonna happen. So let's just forgo that. Let's go pretty expensive here. We have a lot of money to spend. Um, I'll take the zip gun. I think we didn't get anything new during that. Yeah, I just I didn't pick up anything. I uh, will take the spike. Shield is fine. High explosives. We could take sticky grenades. Yeah, why not? And, uh... Take a key code and a nuke, because I want to see what the nuke does. So this is going to be a super expensive mission. Um, although, 137k and 125k reward, but we're not going to get that 60k for um, the loadout max. We're not going to get the 60k bonus either, so that's going to be a little tough. I think nine should be good. Uh, let's go. Let's go ten. Let's go expensive here. Micro nuclear tactical warheads. The government officially condemns the use of these things. I guess that's why they're letting us take them for a spin instead. Also, while you're in this ship, you can try out all the weapons, things like that. It doesn't cost you anything. So, there's our charge. All right, so let's take a look at this place. It is large. Holy cow! Oh my goodness. Uh, shield generator, sentry, juggernaut. This is the juggernaut factory. Um, nuclear defense system. Starts a nuclear explosion anytime a system is destroyed. Oh my. Okay, so we need to go take that out first, I think. Mine layer system. Alarm system. All right, so let's go. Let's go for this first. In fact, I think we can get in here. And we'll head for the nuclear defense system immediately. Yeah, let's try that. Alright, so where am I headed here? I'm headed uh, this way. Yeah, okay. So we do have a key too, if I need it. Um, there is some tech. Those crystals are the... Uh... Oh god. Okay, that's a mine. A lot of enemies here I've not seen before. That guy is, this thing's spraying like some sort of corrosive goo. I feel like I'm also burning through ammo pretty fast, but I guess I do have a lot. Alright, so we don't want to destroy that yet. That saw blade looks dangerous. I guess that's why it's the hazard ship. Right, so let's take this thing out. Good, so the nuclear defense system is down. So now we should be able to take out other systems without worrying about that too much. Oh, goodness. You see a lot of systems all have uh, varying ways they protect themselves also. I'm actually just going to use a repair kit here. That looks like it set off a nuclear explosion anyway, which is kind of interesting. I did see an explosion on the radar there. So let's see, we'll go for uh, this juggernaut factory. And we'll pick up a key along the way maybe? Oh, we do have a key, but... Looks like there's like a tripwire there as well. Uh, I think those are like a uh, defense mechanism. I don't know what the hell that thing is. But I'm gonna stay away from it for now. All right, here's a tech advance. We got a helix caster. Huh? No idea what that is. So these sentry guns are pretty powerful, uh, but we can disable the sentry system if we find it. Oh, it's those canisters. Okay, yeah, we don't want to do that. That stuff's nasty. Alright, let's disable this thing. Use some grenades here. 
See, I can also cook the grenades if I want. Good. So that's destroyed. Yeah, I think that nuclear explode. Oh god. Maybe it's not a nuclear explosion. It's actually just sucking me. It's like almost like a mini black hole or something. Perhaps even more terrifying, really. Accidentally clicked off the screen there. That is one thing I'll say. I hope is one of the first things they changed in early access. Um, that I am playing in a window, and it's possible to drag your mouse outside of the screen right now. Minor, minor gripe because it could just play full screen, and it is probably something that they will fix, but should be noted for now. So we can destroy this tripwire. I might, might have been wise to use this uh, health repair instead of just using my health kit, but that's fine. Heavy machine gun. I don't think we can re we can change weapons mid mission. Ooh, I don't know what that is all about. So I'm already seeing quite a bit of variety in um, is that the core right there is. Now we don't want to do that. Um, we can always see a, quite a bit of variety in enemy types and things like that. So that's pretty cool to see. I like I like that. Oh, that is nasty. Giant like spinning saw blade of death basically. Nitrous oxide fuel, that's interesting. Alright, let's take this out. Uh, I'm gonna take out this turret first. Would be nice to get a resupply because my uh my ammo is getting a little bit low here. There we go. So we destroyed the alarm system. That should help quite a bit. Uh where is there an ammo resupply? Oh, there's a tech advance I hadn't picked up yet. Uh, ammo resupply is near the shield generator system. So let's head up that way. We could take a spin around outside. Uh, we do have a lot of keys, so that's an option too. We actually have quite a bit of time on this mission as well, I'm noticing. Alright, let's get this. Lightning spin. Oh, interesting. Alright. So we can't destroy those saw blades. I'm not going to use the health repair just yet. So I'm probably not going to get like any bonuses on this because I'm going to end up using pretty much all of the things at my disposal here. But I suppose again, you know, that's that's the option you have. Yes. Oh, I had to pay for that. I didn't realize that. That's kind of interesting. So this one will uh, ricochet bullets if we hit that shield. However, it cannot deflect. Um, Grenades, so that works out pretty well. All right, I see the the sentry turret system up here. Pick this out. Gotta throw a lot of grenades at it. Oh my goodness! Okay, we gotta get out of here. And there we go. Nice. All right, so we want to destroy that other juggernaut factory, I believe. Keys might be, um, excess keys might be what also gives you that extra bonus mine layer system. Did I already destroy both juggernauts? Yeah, I guess I did. Um, that's interesting. No supply pods I still have credit for, even though I use a supply pod. I mean, it's talking about health supply. Maybe I'll just try not to use that for now. Um... Yeah, I destroyed the juggernaut factor, so let's, let's head to the, uh... The objective here. Maybe I can even get in under time. So the time limit might not be as restrictive as I was originally thinking. I think it's a tech advance here too. Yeah. Factor beam. Interesting. All right. Well. Oh yeah. Those guys are scary looking. All right, core. Let's do this. Also, this gun is super loud. I <laughs> I apologize. Nice. All right, and we had a minute to spare. So let's see. Oh yeah, so we did get the supply bonus ding. We got thirty six extra K. Oh, it shows you, I guess, what you could have gotten for supplies. So we got um, 207k revenue 
Um, which actually isn't bad because we spent, what, 150 getting in there? So we actually still made money off of that mission, so that's not bad. So yeah, this is Cryptarch. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely an evolution of some of the things they learned from Apotheon for sure. And uh, it's pretty fun. I think it's pretty engaging. I like that it's all like procedurally generated or randomly generated sort of thing. Um, it's kind of nice. So I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Thank you to Alien Trap for giving me a code to check this out myself. Uh, if you like the video, click like. Helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you soon.